Tomato powder is one of my favorite ways to preserve my homegrown tomatoes. And you start by drying the tomatoes. I dehydrate mine here in my dehydrator. And then once the tomatoes are dry, you can either store them as dried tomatoes and make the tomato powder as needed, or you can make a big batch of tomato powder and have it on hand. If you're wondering why you would want to make tomato powder or how to use tomato powder, the most common way that I use it is instead of tomato paste. I use it as tomato paste. Tomato powder plus some water makes tomato paste. So I haven't bought tomato paste at the store in quite a while because I have my own homegrown dried tomatoes that I can turn into powder and I use the powder as tomato paste. You can also use it as a sort of seasoning. You can use it to thicken any tomato based dish. And I'm sure you can come up with other ways to use tomato powder in your kitchen. But like I said, the main way I use it is as a substitute for tomato paste. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own tomato powder and tomato paste. This is actually a great use for cherry tomatoes. If you have a bumper crop of cherry tomatoes, if you grow cherry tomatoes, you probably know how prolific one cherry tomato plant can be. And I like to cut my cherry tomatoes in half and dehydrate them. Do not try to dehydrate whole cherry tomatoes. Just trust me on that one. These got a little darker and these were probably actually the black cherry variety that I love to grow. So these are my dried cherry tomato halves and I'm simply going to turn them into powder in my Vitamix. So then I like to give it kind of a shake. You just have to kind of keep working with it. If you've ever powdered anything in your high speed blender, then you're familiar with the process. And that's the tomato powder, it's that simple. So now I'm just going to transfer the powder to a jar for storage. And that is the end of the process. I've got a jar full of tomato powder that we can use in lieu of tomato paste. I wanted to show you our tomato powder in action. We are currently making one of our go-to recipes. This is ground pork, ground sausage. We're making shortcut pork carnitas. We've got poblanos and red onions sauteing in a separate skillet. And we're about to season our meat, which has already been browned. And then we're also going to add what would normally be tomato paste, but we add tomato powder Sometimes a little water if we need to, but usually we are only adding the tomato powder and because of all of the like cooking juices happening in here, that is enough to make our tomato paste. And now we are adding tomato powder. Creed said he adds it until it looks about right. This recipe calls for one six ounce can of tomato paste and we never really measure the tomato powder. We just kind of keep adding a generous amount until it looks about right. And that is how to use homegrown, homemade tomato powder as a substitute for tomato paste. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my Roots and Boots YouTube channel for more homesteading, home-based content. Uh -huh.